So we've gone through the resting as awareness, become aware of the I exist, the innermost sense of me. Again, use different words at different times, whatever works. But it's about the direct experience. Again, direct contact with self, capital S, before the words. You can use the words as tools, as pointers, but you've got to go to the experience that's before the words. It's literally like you're not allowing yourself to go out and see or think anything. You just stay right here. And you become aware of I exist. And you keep it that pure for that moment, those few seconds. And then you repeat those few seconds. And then you become more familiar with that space. Because finally, for the first time probably in your life, you're doing the opposite of everything ever taught to you, which is focus on objects, focus on things, focus on people, focus on yourself uh, in terms of thoughts and how you're, what you're wearing and this and that. And you're finally beginning to focus on yourself, your actual self. Self implies that which is you. No? But if it comes and goes, how can it be you? You're there witnessing it come and go. So to focus on yourself means to focus on the subject which doesn't change, which was the second method. Stay with a sense of that space, that awareness which does not change. And focus, highlight, emphasize that which doesn't change, even while things are changing. See if you can notice the changeless throughout the changing. Once you do, it's, it's fun. Like you lock on and it's a shift in consciousness, and it's like you're in this vaster space, and you can see all around and through the game. And it's moving, but you're, you stay stationary. It's like you're motionless, and you're aware of this vastness, this self. And you feel ah, a peace come over the body. And the more mature you are, the more you've suffered, and the more wise you have become through that suffering, meaning the more you realize that the answers are not out there ever. <laughs> not even after ever. the more you'll surrender to that space and become self-realized, become more and more stable in the peace of the one infinite creator. The more you start to empty yourself out, your body and mind and persona becomes emptier and emptier and emptier, and therefore more like an empty crystal, reflective of the light in a pure way. So the love and the light of God can shine forth through your vehicles, your body, mind, spirit, etc., energy bodies, in a purer way, least distorted or less and less distortions in the way. Well, the distortions are also essentially pure because there's nothing that's not made of the one infinite creator. So it's not about judging the distortions as bad or filthy. It's just about recognizing that there's a truer state of being to connect to, a truer way to realize yourself. And then from that state, everything is illuminated. Now you can see the perfection of everything, including the filthiness and the distortions. 